Well, hello, God bless you. Bishop Wooden here. I am glad to be back in the saddle, back in my office, sitting here, making preparations to teach the Word of God tonight. My friends, these are some exciting times in which we live. There's a lot going on in the world and in our nation. There's a lot that people are, have to complain about, that people are complaining, complaining about. And there's a lot of wonderful things that are going on. And the God of the Bible, throughout all these things, reigns supreme. And as never before, he is calling on those of us who are pressers, those of us who are pressing our way into his kingdom, glad to be saved, glad to identify with him. Those of us who are glad to be washed in the blood of the lamb, he's calling on the pressers to apply pressure to the society in general and tell the world the truth. Let the world know that there is a reality in serving the God of the Bible. Let fellow believers know that the Lord did have called us out. Bible says, come ye out from among them and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing. This seemingly unprecedented move for many in the body of Christ to become more and more like the world, act to act like the world, look like the world, be like the world, 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 world. Well, I tell you, there's a word for it. It's called the falling away. And uh, we're not going in that direction. We're going in the opposite direction. We're going to follow the scriptures because the scriptures are true. Now I want to I'm going to show you tonight when you come and I want you to come come on time. There's a lot of ground I want to cover and there's some very important things I want to address. I want to show you where the Bible, which is God's truth, God's love letter, the Bible tells the truth. There are many things that we are acknowledging and, and recognizing in society today that the Holy Spirit doesn't acknowledge, has never acknowledged, and shall never acknowledge that the Holy Spirit doesn't recognize, has never recognized, and even when, when uh, he moved upon the writers to write, would not allow them to endorse evil and call evil something other than what it was. We see it today, even in the, the school shootings, and we're, uh, the, the, the kids are out protesting, and they, they're saying we need to take up the guns, and we need to do this, and we need to do that. Well, my friends, let me tell you something. i tell you what we need to do. We need to restore the foundations in society that we have destroyed. We, have, we need to encourage the two-parent a family, you know, mom and dad. It's easy for us to believe uh, some quote that says it takes a village to raise a child. Well, the scripture teaches that it takes a mom and a dad. We'd go a long way if we just uh, believed God on these things. Uh, we, we were talking about the shootings in school. Well, they took the Bible out of school. They took prayer out of school. We've seen, we've seen stories where football coaches' jobs were threatened because they prayed with their students. I'm surprised that we don't have more shootings. I'm surprised that there's not even more violence because we've expelled God. We've said to the God of the Bible, we've got this. And, 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 and despite all of these things, he's good to us. Two million fewer people on food stamps today than they were just a year ago. Unemployment in the black community and in the his, Hispanic community at historical lows. God is doing some marvelous things, my friends, and, uh, and the devil is busy, but God's out doing the devil. Now, I want you to come tonight, and I want to show you some things in the scripture, and the word of God is going to bless you real good. Last week, you know, the man was down. The flu hit me. Both strains tried to get me, but listen, I'm back, hallelujah, and I feel good, and God is good. He's worthy to be praised. I'll see you tonight.